Well, the folks back in West Virginia may not recognize this man without his miner's head. He's come out of the mines to fight. He won May 31st, a second-round knockout over George Mayweather. And his opponent also with a one-round, as a matter of fact, 39-second fight against Rick Spain here in Atlantic City on June 20th. That's Tyson. Tyson in the white with a red stripe, solid red trunks. With a white stripe will be John Alderson. Alderson, a tremendous height advantage, Al. How much will that play a factor in tonight's fight? Well, he has got to keep Tyson off him. Use the jab, the straight right hand. And Mike Tyson gets inside very effectively. It's one of the things he does. So, and he'll go to the body once he gets there. So I don't know if the height in it's so. Frank Cappuccino will have a busy night tonight, and this six rider may not last very long with the kind of shots there. A left hook, right to the face that time of Alderson. That was a strange punch, but Tyson is so powerful. No matter how he delivers those punches, they hurt. For every punch Tyson throws is meant to knock you out. Now, as he gets on against tough competition, the question is, when he comes in like this, will he get nailed with counter shots? That's really what Alderson wants to do. Tyson, you heard documented, of course, the young four. Interesting. Lands with a lead left. Alderson. Mike Tyson delivers punches often in a very awkward fashion. Look at this left hand. That was a jab, but uh, boy, he was off balance when he threw it. Still had a lot of power against muscle underneath. Now, Tyson, they told him to go to the body. He's trying to do that in this round. But uh, Mike hasn't been that busy when he gets on the inside. Good uppercut. Now, there's the right. Oh, good countering right hand, and that stunned Alderman. He backs up another right hand. A combination by Tyson, and he goes on the attack. On the inside, Tyson is, is just ferocious. He throws those good, short, quick punches. The longest fight Tyson has ever been in has been a four-rounder. He got a knockout there. His other three fights were first-round knockouts. Dan Halpin, I guess, is the only man, and this one may not go much longer as a crushing right hand sends Alderson down. He's got a terrible cut over the left eye already. Clint Cappuccino right down in his face. He's going to make the count at eight. But that cut just in. He's just trying to survive now. He's got to throw something out, though. He's laying in with Tyson. Frank may stop this fight. Drilling that as a slip, not a knockdown. Allerson peeking in over that swelling left eye. And here comes Tyson. Left hand that time. Since he really can get some difference in this fight, if nothing else. You know, Tyson looked at Cappuccino a moment ago as if, uh, do you want to stop this? There he goes right back to work on that left eye as Alderson stays on his feet. Try to game we throw a right hand as you see the closing moments of the second round here. Alderson down in this round. May survive as he goes down again at the bell. He's got to get up. Now, a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round with the exception of the last. So he must come to his feet at the ruling of the referee says, okay. He is and he goes into his corner. But if he comes out to answer this bell, it'll be a gutty performance by Big John Alderson. Here's his mouthpiece. Here's his mouthpiece. Here. Here's his mouthpiece. Actually a TKO in the second round by Mike Tyson. So Tyson goes 5-0 with all five knockouts, and it was a devastating second round that proved to be the difference. Those short right hands. Now what happened is Alderman tried to throw the right hand uh, continually, but what happened was Tyson learned how to counter it with his own right. And there's a good straight right hand by Mike Tyson. That sent Alderson down. And uh, that was the first knocker. He'll hurt him, I don't know. But as you look at that young man for 19, you have to like the strength and aggressiveness he has. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Cappuccino stops the bout at the end of the second round. The winner by technical knockout, still undefeated, five in a row, all by KO, Mike Tyson. Well, Tyson, it looks like he may have just had a walk in the park rather than a fight tonight with Big John Alderson. Well, Mike Tyson, uh, it was a performance in which you showed, I thought, the power that we know you have and the aggression, but also maybe walked into a couple more right hands than you'd like. Well, it, the right hands that I walked into wasn't catching me solidly. They were grazed in white right hands, which I'm very peculiar when the right hand comes. Excellent. The right hands are mostly never effective on catching me because I'm always slipping with them, and I'm on an angle which the points go diagonally forward. Okay, let's take a look at the, the last knockdown when you sent him down, and you can comment on it for us. Well, it's rolling a little bit in our monitor, but basically uh, you really had a lot of power, and you were nailing him with short punches. Um, um, I was... 
nailing with punches because I saw he was more accepted to the right hand because he was leaning on his leaning on his right right hand side. And he's more acceptable to the right hand. Um, I felt a little funny. I wasn't right. I wasn't Mike Tyson that you saw mm -hmm. earlier us in the past because of the star buildup. It was a little intimidating. Are you, is all that getting to you a bit? Now, you've placed a lot of pressure on yourself. You and Customato, he's stated flatly he thinks you're going to be the youngest heavyweight champion, the greatest heavyweight champion. What does all that do to your mental frame of mind? Well, I don't look at it that way because deep inside, when I'm not involved with boxing, I'm just a 19-year-old kid. <laughs> and okay. when I'm in the ring, yeah. then that's when I take care of business. Today was more difficult, uh, a rugged performance because of the man's height. Mm -hmm. and, and he wasn't there to fight. He was there to try to last. He wasn't there really to fight. Yeah. And he was running, and it made it more difficult because he's only there to survive. All right, well, Mike, congratulations. You got the win. That's the key. Excuse me. I would like to say happy birthday to my friend, Diane Irvis. God bless you. and Hope to have many more birthdays.